Hey everyone, this is Aiden, and today I'm going to be reviewing every Team Fortress 2 spy hat. Now, you might be thinking, Oh, Aiden, didn't someone already do this? And to that I say, yes, but they privated that video, so since it's practically free for the taking, I thought I would do it. So, I'm going to start with the Fancy Fedora. It's honestly a really good first hat. Fits spy very well, fits well with a lot of his other cosmetics, and overall, I really like this hat. Great one to start off with, Valve. Good job. The Backbiter's Billy Cock is basically the fancy fedora, only to a lesser degree. It doesn't fit Spy as well, and doesn't fit as well with a lot of his other stuff, but it's still good. The Magistrator's Mullet. Oh, gosh. No, no, Spy doesn't need hair coming through a ski mask, just, no, no. The Frenchman's barrette. oh good, we're back to regular hats. Anyway, it makes some sense because Spy is French, but he's not an artist, he's an assassin. So, why is he wearing an art hat? The familiar Fez is, meh. Actually, no, it's trash. It doesn't fit well with any of Spy's other stuff. I don't like the glasses, because just wear the gray pants if you want glasses, and it's just not very good. All the detective noir, often associated with the popular Team Fortress 2 YouTuber, Mr. Paladin. If you wear this, you're an impersonator. Okay, guys, stop that whole Mr. Paladin impersonator stigma with the detective noir. Seriously, I love Soul Tiny Detective Vibe. It's a great looking hat. What, why make fun of him just because a YouTuber wears it? The Charmer's Chapeau is a really cool hat. It fits well with mainly two cosmetics, the Noho Mercy and the Le Party Phantom. I think that's how you pronounce them. But it's still really cool. The Private Eye. Man, Spy has two. Anyway... Sure, this is available on three classes, but it only looks good on Demo Man. The other two, meh. The, uh, um, Janissary Ketch. I swear I pronounced that wrong. It's really not good. Doesn't fit well with anything and rightly deserves its status as a low tier unusual hat. The Costa Nostra cap is great. Sure, it's a bit similar to the Fancy Fedora, but not too similar, and though it doesn't fit well with the Mafia theme, it's still a great looking hat, though I expect to see its look a lot. The Nano Black Lava, that's a mouthful, anyway, it's um, not very good, it doesn't fit with any of Spy's other stuff, and just doesn't look that good on its own, I'd pass on this one. The Counterfeit Billycock is silly. As in, it's literally a Billy Cock mask on a top hat. It's simple, but it's just so stupid that I just can't help but love it. The Inspector. Seriously, what is with these names? It's not that good. I just don't think it fits by that well, and I just don't think it fits well with anything else. It's... Nah. The Undercover, I feel... That the band-aids should not be there. I mean, if it was just the hat itself and they didn't try to make it a Halloween hat, then it could have been good. But nope. Band-aids. <sighs> Why must you ruin things, Valve? The Dashin' Assassin. <sighs> Y'all know what's coming, don't ya? Okay, now that we've got that joke out of the way, I'm not a fan of Spy's hoods, to be honest. I feel like this one's just a bit too overdone, and I just feel like there's too much going on with it. I'd pass on this one. The Ninja Cowl looks way too tacked on to Spy's ski mask, and doesn't look that good except with the other ninja stuff. Also, I'm not doing the obvious jokes. I don't feel like looking up some random show from Japan just to get its theme song. Sorry, effort I'm not willing to put in. The Stealth Stealer is great. It does a good enough job recreating the fancy fedora with the robo aesthetic, but is a separate enough looking hat to be called its own. 
the hat of cards is the same way, except, except instead of a robo, it's cards. Man, these past two hats have done something really nice. Taking an already great hat and improving on it. I like these. The lacking moral fiber mask is atrocious. Looks like some five-year-old edgelord made it in five minutes with scotch tape. Like, there's no edgy joke. The base metal billy cock is meh. It doesn't really look that good, but I guess it does a fine enough job recreating the backbiters, and it's meh. The bootleg base metal billy cock. Jeez, what are with these names being mouthfuls? It's meh, but I do like how the mask instead appears as a monitor. That's pretty nice, but other than that, it's the same as the original. The pom pom provocateur, minus five points for using provocateur for two of Spice Cosmetics. It just looks dumb. Not a good way. It only looks good with the puffy provocateur, but it's just dumb. The Belgian detective, I know I pronounced that wrong. It's nice. It has is a detective vibe to it, though it's not as strong as the Detective Noir, but it also has a really sweet mustache. I like this one. The Harmburg. This is just a Costa Nostra cap, but with a shape change. Like, seriously, that's all I get from it. Costa Nostra cap reshaped. That's literally all I think when I see this hat. The Le Home Burglar. Only looks good with the escapist, and while it does make sense because it's used for French criminals and it's a inspired French, I just honestly don't like this one. Sorry. The Candyman's cap, and no, there's no Willy Wonka reference. It's honestly the Harmburg, but better, seeing as they actually make the hat taller and give it a brighter color palette with the flower and the more colored stripe. I like it. The Hyper Brainiac Bowler. Ugh is basically the modest pile of scrap, but with a brain in it. Yeah, that's literally all I think of when I see this hat. Eh. The Ethereal Hood. <sighs> Play the song. off already. Thank you, now that I got my editor to turn that stupid song off. It's, uh, not very good. It doesn't look good on Spy. It doesn't fit any of his other cosmetics, and overall, I just think you should pass on this one. The Napoleon Complex is basically the World Traveler's hat turned sideways. That's it. That's literally all I think of, but it's a decent hat, especially if you don't want an unusual with effect with it. The Deep Cover Operator... Ugh... I already talked about this. You don't put hair on Spy's ski mask. That looks dumb. I mean, it looks good on Sniper, but on Spy, no. Way to ruin it, Valve. The Aviator Assassin only really looks good with the other Pilot Spy outfit. And anything else, it's meh. A bit too themed for my liking, anyway. The Nightmare Hunter looks awesome. I love this whole damaged look, and on Spy it looks pretty good. Though it is Halloween restricted, though. <sighs> Man, Valve, why? The Rogue's Rabbit. Aww, it's so cute! It's a rabbit coming out of Spy's hat. That's all I can think of. Cute. This Scream Fortress, you better get yourself one of these. It's so cute! The Shadow Man's Shade. And no, no Princess and the Frog reference, because I'm not getting in trouble with Disney. It's meh. I don't honestly like the skull on it. I pass on this one. The A Hat to Kill For. Really, I wouldn't kill for this one. But it's still really good, and the cosmetic it was meant to be paired with looks really good with it. I like its flat look, and its lining actually lines up with the lining on Spy's suit. The... The Big Topper only really looks good with the set it's from, but honestly, with the set it's from, it looks amazing. Plus, like the Belgian Detective, has that really sweet mustache. The Brain Warming Wear, it's just too childish for me and doesn't fit Spy at all. I mean, 
He's an assassin, yet he's wearing a kid's hat. That, that, that doesn't make sense. The upgrade is creepy, but in a cool way, as in almost, it gives off that whole futuristic horror kind of vibe, and I really like it. Too bad its top part isn't that noticeable. The murderer's motif, aka the Zorro hat, is basically the Le Home Burglar, but better. And it actually has cosmetics that go with it, aside from just one. Hooray. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Have things to do.